We kick up our round-off of day 32 at the Grand Stade, where Inform Lille were held to a goalless draw at home to Marseille. The excellent Steve Mandanda kept out everything Lille could throw at him, including that close-range header from Solomon Kalou and this powerful drive from Dimitri Payet. And Marseille now haven't conceded in five games. The visitors had a few chances of their own. Andre Pierzyniak denied by Steve Alana here, but it finished 0-0. Marseille second and Lille five points back in sixth. Lyon put an end to their run of three straight defeats with a win at home to Toulouse. Clément Grenier put the host 1-0 up in the eighth minute. That before Wissam Ben Yedder brought the visitors level shortly before the half hour mark. That with his 12th goal of the season. But Lyon restored their lead as Grenier fired superbly across the Toulouse area for Bakary Kone to head home in the 49th minute. And Baffer Timby Gomez then made it 3-1 in the 63rd minute with his 14th goal of the season. Leon back up to third. Well, nice is snapping at Leon's heels after cruising to victory at home to Socho. Mahaman Traore got the final touch on this Nemanja Pacinovic attempt for 1-0. And Didier Degard doubled Nice's lead again with a somewhat fortunate deflection. Leading goal scorer Dario Kovitinic chipped in his 14th of the season to round out a 3-0 win. Paris Saint-Germain remain on course for their first title since 1994 after beating Troyes 1-0 away. Blaise Matuidi, a product of Troyes Youth Academy, claimed the game's only goal. There were no goals between Valenciennes and Saint-Etienne on Friday. Gael Danik came closest to Valenciennes with this fine strike. It was a frustrating night all round for Liver and leading goalscorer Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang with their thoughts no doubt on the League Cup final against Rennes next Saturday. The last time Bordeaux had scored four goals at home was back in December 2009 but they did just that against Montpellier on Saturday. Ludovic Sané got the ball rolling and then Sheikh Diabate jinked this way and that before scooping over Geoffrey Jordan. Yaroslav Plazil added a third two minutes later after a superb counter-attack. Benoit Tremolinas with the first of two assists. Remy Cabella pulled one back for Montpellier on the stroke of half-time, turning Julien Faubert inside out and making it 3-1 at the break. But Bordeaux restored their three-goal lead in the 54th minute as Henri Sive swept in. Still, there was time for Benjamin Stambouli to add a consolation goal for Montpellier in injury time and a strange one at that. Bordeaux nevertheless ran out 4-2 winners. No shortage of goals up at Le Moustoir either. Host Lorient went in front against Bastia just before half-time through Jan Jouf. And they made it 2-0 10 minutes after the break as Jeremy Aliadier's shot was blocked and Benjamin Cornier swept in the rebound. Bastia then pulled one back through leading goalscorer Anthony Modest. That's now 12 for the season. But Ali Adier restored Lorient's two goal lead after a ball in from substitute Kevin Monet Pake, who'd only been on the pitch for two minutes. Ali Adier then grabbed his second and 14th of the season overall to become the highest scoring Frenchman in Europe's major leagues. That and wrap up a 4 1 win for Le Merlu. It took two minutes for Evian to take the lead at home to Rennes from this Jean-Hermar Canabiak own goal. Julien Ferry pulled one back for the visitors on 22 minutes. But his side went behind again as Kevin Berrigo fired in one of the goals of the season. An absolutely stunning volley which left Benoit Costil no chance. Rennes equalised a second time, Ferry crossing in for John Boy to head home. But Evian were not to be denied. Yannick Sagbo pulling across the penalty area for Milos Ninkovic in the 78th minute for his first goal here in France. And Sagbo rounded out a vital 4-2 win for Evian with this header eight minutes from time. Brest looks set for a return to League 2 after falling to their fifth straight defeat at home to Reims. Nicolas Fauvert made it 1-0 with his first goal since August before Diego curled in this free kick to make it 2-0 at the final whistle. It was worth showing up on time for the game between Ajaxio and Nancy at Stade François Coty. Five minutes in, Paul Allo Effelou put in visitors Nancy in front. And Mehdi Mustafa equalised barely two minutes later, putting an end to Nancy's three-game run without conceding. 
All the results from this 32nd day, then with plenty of big scoring matches and 29 goals overall. Big win for Evian at home to Rennes. Lorient recovering superbly from their hammering in Lille last week. And Lyon back on track against Toulouse. At the top, Paris are now nine points clear of Marseille with six games to go and already have one hand on that Ligue 1 trophy. The battle for the Champions League is set to be fierce though with only five points separating Marseille in second and Lille in fifth. At the other end, Troyes looks set for a return to Ligue 2 and Brest will join them unless they can turn things around. Nancy are a point behind Sochaux in 18th and Evian and Ajaccio are by no means out of the woods yet either. Rance's win at Brest puts them 13th. Next week, a slightly unusual programme given that saint Etienne and Rennes face off in the League Cup final on Saturday night. Just the one game on Friday and Saturday then, followed by six on Sunday. The two finalists are then in league action the following Wednesday. <laughs>